you. It was actually roughly this exact same time yesterday morning, less than a hundred yards from me, uh, where that gunman opened fire. This morning, we are learning more about what likely fueled his rampage. We're also learning more about those officers whose actions likely saved many lives. Overnight, President Trump visiting Congressman Steve Scalise in the hospital where he remains in critical condition. Trump tweeting, Scalise is in very tough shape, but he is a real fighter. This barely 24 hours after the baseball field Scalise was on turned into a war zone. We need medics. We got a suspect. Scalise, the House's third ranking Republican, shot in the hip. We can't help him. We're helpless. I mean, we're, we've got bats versus uh, rifle. The gunfire early Wednesday reportedly lasting for 10 harrowing minutes aimed at Republicans practicing for a charity baseball game. The gunman, 66-year-old James Hodgkinson, reportedly started firing from behind the fence along the third baseline, moving toward home plate and then back toward the dugout, unable to find a way onto the field. Texas Congressman Joe Barton there with his children. I was behind the dugout. My son Jack got under an SUV and uh, he was very brave. Was my other son Brad was in the uh, in the uh, batting cage and he also was very brave. Along with Scalise, three other victims shot. Congressional staffer Zachary Barth, Matt Mika, a lobbyist for Tyson's Foods, and U.S. Capitol Police Officer Crystal Griner. Griner among those who returned fire at the gunman, fatally wounding him. Hodgkinson is from Belleville, Illinois. Investigators say he came to Virginia in March and had been living out of his van. And while authorities won't comment on his motive, Hodgkinson did ask if the players on the field were Republicans. He asked me if this team was the Republican or Democrat team practicing. I responded that it was a Republican team practicing, and he proceeded to shoot Republicans. On Hodgkinson's social media account, a history of anti-Republican and anti-Trump posts, the president calling for unity. We may have our differences, but we do well in times like these to remember that everyone who serves in our nation's capital is here because, above all, they love our country. Congressional leaders echoing those sentiments on the House floor. We are united in our anguish. An attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. Meanwhile, that congressional baseball game will go on as planned tonight just over the Potomac here uh, at National Stadium in Washington, D.C. President Trump uh, apparently wanted to attend a Secret Service telling him that because of the late hour, uh, they would not be able to make the necessary uh, security, take the necessary precautions to get him there. Meanwhile, uh, it was revealed yesterday that the gunman had volunteered for the Bernie Sanders presidential campaign yesterday. Senator Sanders uh, took to the Senate floor to denounce violence of any type. Savannah, Matt. All right, Craig Melvin, where it all began 24 hours ago. Thank you. We are